I don't know, I, don't, I probably don't need to worry about V-Sync in a game like this. Uh, it'll tell me the controls, so I'm just gonna jump, jump straight in. So yeah, if anyone doesn't know what this game is, uh, this is another kind of like physics puzzle platformer game. It's kind of like you are the thing from the movie The Thing. But it's like a, it's like a Metroidvania more than a puzzle game. So, uh, I think the devs call it a reverse horror game, <laughs> where you are the monster, and you are the terror. Which is the term I like to use for, uh... Doom. <laughs> you may not be the monster, but <laughs> you're certainly not the one afraid. Grab humans. Okay, you just grab anything. Oh, man. Tasty. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw this, like, when it came out, but I just... I don't know what I was streaming at the time, but I decided I'd continue with whatever I was doing rather than... Oh, wow, you can hold on to him for, like, like a snack for later. Let me in. Oh, it's happening, baby. Chomp. Get chomped on. You ain't getting away. Chomp. I like that that person was just standing there. Zoom. <laughs> it's kind of like what I was hoping for out of that Maneater game. But that game kind of turned out to not be so great. <laughs> Squeeze in here. But yeah, I have not played this at all, so... Actually, a lot of the games I'm playing today I have not played at all. Phasmophobia I've barely played. In fact, I need to go back through the tutorial before I uh, jump on there. Also, while I am doing VR stuff tonight, I will not be doing Phasmophobia in VR. I know it supports VR, but holy shit, I have never been sicker trying to play a game in VR. I have a pretty good VR stomach. <laughs> the game was not properly made for VR. Nice. Oh, so that opens like the next portal. And it's a save point. I think I might watch the thing tonight after my stream. I know I said I was feeling Exorcist 3, but I think it's so good. It's been a really long time since I've seen it. Let's see if I can get my girlfriend to watch it with me. I don't know if she's seen that. She might have seen it though. Gummy rat, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's something. So again, much like Little Nightmares, while this is a short game, I won't be playing it very long. Uh, Cause I'm gonna take a break for lunch and stuff in about an hour. But I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm coming back to this one. I haven't really formed my opinion on it yet, but just from what I've seen of it, like. This is totally my jam. Yeah, like I said, next month I'm probably going to be playing a lot of platformers. I'm definitely going to be grinding out some speedruns for the game Celeste. Uh, getting de-rusted from that, because I used to speedrun that, but... Everything has changed <laughs> as far as tactics go in that game. <laughs> Warning. Unknown biological threat detected. Stay alert. Oh, we got a guy with a gun. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Get to you in a second, sir. Alright, now it's time. Boom, baby! Oh, I guess it was a woman with a gun. I say was, because she is now... <laughs> just a hump of flesh. Or, hunk of flesh, not hump of flesh. This night, DST will end. Um... What time, uh, hold on, let me, uh, do the conversion here. I, I think it's five hours, so I could probably do that in my head, but I want to double check. Yeah, let me tab out and check that real quick. That doesn't break the capture. No, let me, oh my god, I hate when my computer does this. It's like, no, you have to be focused on this tab. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, Daylight Savings Time. Yeah, I don't know why we're still using Daylight Savings Time. I could go on, like, a 
six-hour rant about that shit. <laughs> I, th I thought I'm fucking stupid, and I thought that that was a time zone. Uh, wait, is that ending today? Shit. <laughs> I don't even know. No, wait. We already ended daylight savings or started it. It flipped already. I think. God, I am like out of it today. <laughs> That's what happens when I start my stream early. It's also just the whole COVID situation. <laughs> it's like time is meaningless to me. <laughs> the, the months and days go by. Oh, do I get a power out of this? Uh, yeah. Shoot a cobweb. Okay, how? Oh, with E. Nice. <laughs> oh. Do I have a cooldown on that, or do I just keep shooting it? Looks like I can pretty much just keep shooting it. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Bizarre reasons for why we're still using daylight savings time. Got him. This reminds me of like um that Happy Wheels game. <laughs> the, like the physics thing. Oh he's alive. Not anymore. Ow, he shot me. I left somebody alive in there. <laughs> well, but let that be a lesson to them. Okay, not that way. I wonder if I can use that elevator. Like, I just instantly die from falling in water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> that guy has the right idea to just run the hell away. Shift to... What the hell? Okay. <laughs> nice. No! God, I love the graphics in this game. It's very cool. Assuming whatever's down here is a dead end, yep. Hazardous waste to landfill. Or probably something we can do later. I'm guessing the intro is probably gonna guide us pretty uh pretty closely. Everything's so fluid, it's like it's perfect. Junkyard status secure. Not no more. Boom. Sealed breach. Fifty percent. Biomass samples lost. I did not mean to go in there. <laughs> Order. Shoot everything that moves. I don't really know why I compared this to the thing. Because we don't really morph into anybody. Oh, actually, spoilers, I think we do eventually. <laughs> Is that a secure? Yeah, are you, are you sure about that? <laughs> oh, cool, I can run. I can climb ladders, all sorts of stuff. Look at me go. So, I watched most of this game. Batch of 
anti divolian mass. But I forget whether this is like... I, I'm gonna place bets on this, I don't know for certain. But I bet this guy either already is the, the biomass or he turns into it. <laughs> Disorganized mass of bones and dry tissue. Do I need to even do this? There we go. You guys might want to back away from that. Ma'am? <laughs> What's she doing? No, you're attached to it. <laughs> I guess she's laying the cable to detonate it. Alright. Man, I'm getting like a crazy amount of achievements. It's very annoying. <laughs> Just pop up, pop up, pop up. <laughs> Either we're like flying through this game, or there's just a lot at the beginning. Or it could be a game that just has a lot of achievements, period. I'm gonna do that with my game. I'm gonna put like 100 achievements in my game, even though it's like an hour long right now. <laughs> Still need to do that. I have not added achievements yet. I don't know. I. Like back and forth on achievements. Good achievements can like enhance a game slightly. Not a lot, just a little bit. The bad achievements are just annoying. Just tedious, like time. I mean you could just ignore them for sure. <laughs> but then at that point, why have them? I think the worst kind of achievements are the ones that are like really easy to get. Because it's it's just spammy at that point. If you're just constantly saying notifications instead of focusing on playing the game. And the second worst are ones that just require you to grind, like, do this a thousand times, like, really cool, okay. There's some exceptions to that rule. Like, in uh, Dead Rising, there's one achievement to, like, kill the entire town's population worth of zombies. I think that's... Well, there's challenge involved with it in that game because you're on a timer. So it's at least, like, not completely brain dead. Although the way to do it is pretty brain dead. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about achievements, <laughs> but other than the fact that they were on my screen. Do you want to play a game with a, with, with a friend that lonely people have to hunt? Yeah. Oh man. Don't get me started on that. Um, so just since I've been like pretty bored during quarantine, I've been trying to get like all the achievements on all the Resident Evil games that are on Steam. And I'm pretty close, but uh, Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6, there's like two achievements in that game that requires you to play online a lot. Resident Evil 5 has a couple people that play online, but they're also really freaking good, so it's hard to like, uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I probably gotta use my web somewhere. So then the achievement becomes like a lot more difficult than they intended. Uh, maybe up here? Nope. And then Resident Evil 6, there's just literally nobody playing it, so... <laughs> I need to, like, find a friend. Guys and I play RE5 online. Oh, hey, what's up, ZD? Or, welcome back, or... Or you've just been here. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, uh, actually, Gaius helped me get those achievements in RE5. <laughs> Took a nap. Nice. I might do the same when I uh, take a little break here. Actually, my first my first break or whatever you want to call it is gonna be like the longest one because it's like from noon till three. But Possum and I are doing something together, so you know, quality time and all that relationship stuff. Oh, he's still alive. She's still alive. Get over here. Give me my biomass back. There we go.
That's useful, I have to remember that. Gently touched that man. That's got an achievement. <laughs> achievement, you killed enough guys. And gals. We are <laughs> This is a bad joke. I'll make it anyway since I started it. <laughs> we're equal opportunity, uh. Cannibalistic. Well, I guess we're not cannibalistic. <laughs> Those humans aren't us. <laughs> Whatever. Monster. Entity. Chomp chomp. <laughs> I love the screams. <laughs> it's very intense. Yeah! <laughs> okay, looks like I can go either way. Oh, that guy looks tough. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah, I know about those guys. Okay. I'll come back there in a second. It's probably better to save anyway. Yeah, I think the idea with those guys is you want to, like, swing at them. It's so cold in this room today. Damn it, I got them too. I was just way too slow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the web's not really going to help me out there, but... Oh, damn it. I should have eaten the other guy. There we go. Quick, eat them before they get up. Nom, 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 nom. Is he not dead yet? Please die. Oh, maybe I can't eat them. Their suits are too tough. My poor little biomass stomach can't stomach it. Hey, new powers! Hopefully that will help me with these guys. <laughs> Damage vent covers and wooden walls slash enemies. Cool. Oh, I gotta... I see. Oh, we're huge now. What the hell? Oh, that's right. So, some abilities you can only use when you're, like, smaller. And perfectly placed. Here we go. I think of your secure minds. No, I was trying to dash and I pressed the wrong button. Look how when sometimes you try to eat someone in the game, the monster just ha face has his user. Yeah, it goes like, ah. <laughs> Wrong button, again. But at least it wasn't the wrong button that uh, takes me out of the area. <laughs> Trick or treat. Hey, what's up, guys? Starlight? Whatever. Whatever one of your many names. How you doing this morning? Sorry, I didn't bring any candy. Yeah, I guess my neighborhood's doing like a masked trick or treat. Um, I'm not putting anything out because I don't want to feel culpable for <laughs> having kids infect each other. It's a party up in here, I know, right? We got Norman, we got ZD, and new friends. I don't know why I'm breaking this. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, fuck. Not you again. Yes, you can do that. <laughs> uh. All your bees are here. It's true. Oh, wait. 
<laughs> so Starlight, what time are you uh, playing uh, Resident Evil 4 tonight? If I, if I may ask. Oh yeah, and ZD, you're doing it tonight too, aren't you? Dang, everybody's doing stuff. Also Norman is. Silent Hill 2, right, not Resident Evil 4. What am I thinking? Try to catch some of that. Although I basically just scheduled my entire night, so I don't, I don't know <laughs> if I will. This is a, basically a 24-hour stream, except very soon I'm gonna disappear for like three hours. This game reminds me of an anime. Uh, yeah. Take a pick of which one. <laughs> oh, we're back here now. This reminds me of several animes, and I don't even watch that much anime. Ah. Elf and Lady. That was. You know what? That was weirdly the one I was thinking of. You're trying to figure out what to play, ZD? And. 6 p.m. Oh, nice! I'll actually be able to uh, see you then, because if you. As you can see from. <coughs> Hell that was from my schedule here. I am actually taking a break at that time. I'll be eating dinner. I'll pop on by and catch the uh, start of it. Well, I probably don't need to be anywhere here. <coughs> Manga ended one year after the anime had ended. Damn. It's like um, Full Moto Alchemist. They finished the first version of that TV show before the manga ended, right? So they had to like make up an ending. Oh my god, what is wrong with my throat right now? Excuse me. <sighs> Three boxes of dots the past few days, and there were no teeth pulling. <laughs> you want your money back? Damn, rip. I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. This is the intro area. They're soft and chilly, chewy. Uh, need to read what happened. Cool. Yeah, yeah. It, it's interesting because I know, like, production cycles are pretty fast for most, like, uh, animes. Let's say Japanese shows, but I don't know anything <laughs> other than, like, anime specifically. I've never, like, watched, like, a Japanese TV show. But I know that a lot of those tend to get, like, or they have to, like, put out episodes, like, weekly almost, depending on the series. That's why you get, like, series that are, like, super short, like FLCL, and then things that go on forever, like Naruto, or, uh, oh, what's the treasure one? One Piece. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Cool, cool. See you later, K-Red. Thanks for the follow, and thanks for, for joining us today. Little Tons of Minga. It must be at least 24 episodes. Is that your personal uh, thing, or is that like a, a thing they do nowadays? See, personally, this is a hot take, but personally I like shows that are shorter because I can finish them. <laughs> like The Boys, that's pretty good. That's also just a good show, so there's that too. Okay, so where am I going right now? I think there was definitely wood stuff somewhere that I need to break through. Well, okay, no. Maybe I need to go back through this door, because that, that wood thing is a shortcut I just opened by coming through this hole. One, uh... Oh, so, like, per manga, it takes up to four to six episodes? Jeez. Yeah, I'm just not diligent with, like, finishing anything. I mean, you pretty much have to just, like, do that one thing and nothing else. <laughs> so, 
er, watch that one thing and nothing else. And I like a variety of stuff. Although I do like me some Trailer Park Boys, and that show is fucking endless. <laughs> There's so, so many episodes of that show. <laughs> but that's just because it's been on forever. I was gonna recommend that show just now, but I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. I absolutely love that show, but I have trouble recommending it because it's like... It's the dumbest thing ever, but it's supposed to be the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> Why'd this door close? I was definitely in here already, yeah. Okay. Let me try to trace this back. Okay, I'm assuming they probably want me to go through here, so maybe I was supposed to go in here. Which one? Oh, it's a, so it's called Trailer Park Boys. It's a Canadian TV show. It's basically about um, some drug dealers that live in a trailer park in um, Nova Scotia. But they're like, <laughs> they're the protagonists, so they're like good guys. <laughs> It's it's basically like similar to like Seinfeld and where like there's not really like too much of a plot to it. Okay, so there's stuff that's not breached over here. Let's go in here. It's a show about nothing as they say. But that's the setup of the show. It's a very bizarre show. <laughs> but also very blunt and straightforward at the same time. Protagonist is like guys. <laughs> hey now. Them's fighting words. I heard exactly this. Oh yeah, you were there for that stream where we were talking about meth stuff in Florida. Listen, guys is an upstanding Florida man. I'd be on PCP. <laughs> Which, of course, you're referring to your primary care physician, right? <laughs> With the, all right, I'm so lost right now. Hold on, let me... No! go through here. Oh, I don't think I went down here. Maybe I did. Yeah, no, here we go. Excellent. Progress. <laughs> Finally. After me wandering for like 30 minutes talking about TV shows I like. But speaking of short shows, one... Actually, this might be my actual favorite TV show, uh, Atlanta. That is a very interesting television show. It's definitely not for everybody. Uh, he, <laughs> the, the show's creator described it as uh, curb your enthusiasm, but for rappers. So if that sounds appealing, do we expect riots for me not making progress? <laughs> Wonder if oh oh <laughs> you're talking about the election. <laughs> uh, let's hope not. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants anybody to riot. It's it's gonna be interesting though. This is a very interesting year to say the least. Oh, I gotta go around again. I'm wondering. So I live in Ohio. I'm wondering which way my state's gonna go. <laughs> Because we are also a swing state. Huh. That's one thing that's actually really cool about Cleveland. 
I don't know, maybe some people hate this, but, <laughs> like, Cleveland, you get a pretty, like, nice diversity of, like, both conservative and liberal people. Both of the, like, normal variety and the extreme variety, which, <laughs> I, I enjoy the former, the latter, eh, not so much. <laughs> Like when people are just chill. No, <laughs> they're in perfect defense formation. I'll never kill them like this. The native country still has right. Well, yeah, that's true. I know, man. That's that is rough. I'm sorry to hear that, Norman. All right, we're gonna sneak up behind him and hit him with that web. Got him. No, he's getting up! Grab him! You fucker! <laughs> Close the door. Alright. Take him out. Wait, can I then? Oh, I can kind of grab him. But not really, though. <laughs> Why does this web not last very long? <laughs> I'll be taking this. Grab the fucking guy! There we go. Alright. <laughs> Holy shit. Can I eat him? Not really. I can't get health back from him. There was a swing state and went blue in 2008 and 2012. Nice. I, I do remember 2008. I, I remember that election year very well. Mainly because it was the first one I was able to vote in. And I was super excited. Twenty twelve is oh wait, <laughs> no collect biomass. Don't deposit. Oh, you eat it. Oh, that's super intuitive. Cool. The squeeze in here. Coming through. Containment unit number one. Not contained anymore, baby. Norman, we have a jack emote on the- oh, nice! Wait, is this a power, or is this just nothing? Oh, it's just a collectible. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. There. <laughs> it's no longer contained. What's up here? Oh, oh, I could have gone around them! I am a fool. Fool, I say. Uh, do I go in here? Is that a new area? I don't freaking know. <laughs> where am I? Oh, okay, this is where I entered. I don't remember this hole, though. Oh, I opened this hole. Yeah, that's my one fear with uh, adding achievements to my game, is uh, just having like a, too many of them, have it just be like stupid. Although, I haven't played too many VR games with achievements in them, I don't even know like if they show up. <laughs> I'm guessing it's one way or the other, either you don't see anything so it's not intrusive, or it pops up in your fucking face and it's probably going to be super annoying. <coughs> if it's the latter, I'll probably stick towards achievements that are like you have to be going for them to get them <laughs> so that you don't just get bombarded with nonsense that feels like something I can do something to maybe I have to charge it from the other side uh, maybe I shoot my webbing at this Okay. Fine, I didn't want to go in there anyway. Maybe I should take my mask back. Alright, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm taking my mask back. Oh, I know this room. We're about to be in for a fight, ladies and gentlemen. I 
should have left my mask behind. <laughs> it's okay, soon we'll be small anyway, because we're just taking damage. <laughs> yeah, I think I just need to shoot webbing at this guy. That's the trick to him. Yeah, he's like... Oh, I can do that! <laughs> this reminds me of the underground game to Terraria. This music sounds exactly like fucking Terraria right now. Weirdly enough. <laughs> But yeah, that robot did kind of remind me of, like, uh... Maybe not an enemy, necessarily, but something you'd see in Terraria. I never finished that game. I liked it, though. I also never finished Starbound. I played that. That was pretty cool. I actually like that one better. But that's less... less well, actually, both of them are less creativity-based compared to something like Minecraft. Is Boston gonna play a trick on you? Probably. <laughs> so you never finished Terraria? Correct. I'm not a uh, god gamer that's finished it on elite mode or whatever it's called. Hardcore expert difficulty. Will I die if I do this? <laughs> no, I'll just fall in slow motion. <laughs> Wait, can I talk to Mr. Bones over here? It is Halloween after all. Cause of death, massive head trauma. <laughs> Bone sesh. Uh, I should have done what I did last year for Halloween. It's actually similar to a stream you just did, um, ZD. I, I, I like just found a bunch of shitty horror games on itch.io <laughs> and I just played them. Uh, we should devolve further and play games off of Jolt or whatever the fucking. What a game jolt, yeah. <laughs> Lever is missing a rod. Hopefully I was supposed to do that. <laughs> Gaius and I are playing Terraria. Oh, nice. Maybe, yeah. I should add you on Steam. I don't have you, uh, ZD. I have Gaius, though. Whoever this Gaius person is. <laughs> the only thing is... I say this to everyone when I add them as a friend, which is the only reason I'm reluctant to add people on Steam. Currently I have 69 friends on Steam, so every time I friend somebody I have to unfriend somebody. But there's also like a jack ton of, um... Calcified remains of a cyclop cyclopium entity known as of unknown origin. Anyway, I have tons of people that I don't know that I have friends on my list, so it's not, it's not very hard for me to find people to remove. I'm not like, just like, haha, you're my friend, but fuck you. <laughs> like, for example, there was one guy I friended, uh, cause I played, like, Resident Evil 5 with him, like, twice, and he just sent a friend request, I'm like, eh, sure, why not? Could have a bunch of friends, or I could add a bunch of friends till I get 420, but that'll take a while. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> you know, that lever could have just opened that door, but whoever designed this facility said, nah. <laughs> We're gonna put a chain down here. Me and Goon go hard on RE5. That is very true. Nothing bad will happen for me jumping into this big old pool of biomass sample. That's not very professional there. Do you think anyone's gonna get DMCA'd this Halloween for playing spooky scary skeletons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, I have no health. Um, well, you know, because of that, let's, let's just hold on to our biomass for now until we know we need it. 100%. I, I actually don't know. I think there's a deadline. It's like November 4th or something. No, it's not on that day. <laughs> Somewhere or thereabouts where uh, Twitch said they're going to start taking action on the, that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run. Get over here. <laughs> I really hope that gets, like, turned around or, <laughs> or undone some way. People are, like, well, video game characters in this game. <laughs> they can't fucking swim. They just die if they touch water. <laughs> Yeah. 
You know what I should have done? I should have eaten breakfast. <laughs> Probably gonna end pretty promptly at noon now. I'm, I'm feeling the hunger. That's a good thing with this game too. I can pretty much stop anywhere on this one. I got muted for playing Viper. <laughs> okay, but this is getting muted. That's great. I don't... You know, I've never had a VOD muted over, like, anything that I wasn't expecting. I've only had VODs muted when I'm, like, playing actual music. <laughs> and when actual music comes on in a game that has it, like, expected to be in there... There's totally drones coming out of these things, by the way. Like, I think for the most part, I usually haven't, like, gotten it muted over that. I was, like... 100% convinced my Alan Wake VOD was going to get fucked, because there's like so much copyright music that's between every chapter in that game. Uh, but... It didn't. I mean, YouTube definitely threw some strikes my way, but... <laughs> that's YouTube. This is Twitch. <laughs> Drink plant shake. <laughs> I'm mixing my own cocktails here. Oh, there they are. I was like, who's yelling like that? <laughs> uh, uh. Is this some ability I just don't have yet? Uh. It must be. Unless, wait, let me go examine that again now that I've pulled that lever. No. <laughs> You know, that's what- that's definitely the part of this that reminds me of, um, <laughs> of Happy Wheels. It's the- the screams of those people. Did I save in here? I don't think I did. Oh my god. What is this the first time you've heard Happy Wheels in like 10 years? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Uh. Ow god, he's a hunter. He's coming for me, holy fuck. Alright, asshole. <laughs> you wanna play it? Oh, god. Everyone try to get big off that game with Let's Plays? Some people did. I'd be interested to know, because I only found him after he was way bigger, but I wanna know, like, if that in part helps make uh, Video Game Donkey. I love that channel. I know PewDiePie helped him a lot. But. Whatever. PewDiePie LOL. I was one of them. I've never played Happy Wheels on stream. I have played a shit ton of Happy Wheels as a fucking degenerate teenager, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe a bit harsh for anyone that's ever played Happy Wheels. Get him! Get him! <laughs> I, I just mean I've played it like a degenerate. <laughs> like, I've played an unreasonable number of hours of that game. Which means I easily could have been one of them. However, too young. Born too late, man. It's to play Happy Wheels on the internet. I really do wish I had gotten into streaming earlier, though. Like, while I was in college. Because I played a shit ton of games. <laughs> And the, here's the kicker, I was actually good at games at one point. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oh, he's got fire. Bitch. Oh, this is over here in case you lost biomass. Well, I didn't lose any biomass, but they still must die. that TV. Still had the moves in RE4 at least. Nice. Good stuff, man. Damn, can't play it. Wait, release date? 
June 4th, 2010. Oh, you can't play it because of your, uh, your channel rules. <laughs> See, how old was I in 2010? Yeah, I was barely a teenager at that point. I was almost an adult. That's, <laughs> that's unfortunate <laughs> to make that discovery. Boom! Got him! Ouch! They got me. <laughs> Wait, I can swing this one around as like a mace. Maybe? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. It didn't work even a little bit. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, <laughs> but man, am I glad it did. Got him. All right. I was 12. Uh, let's see, how old was I in? How actually old was I in that year? So, 2007, I graduated high school. So I was, wow, I was already like most of the way through college. I stand corrected. <laughs> I was not a teenager. <laughs> Surprise, I am old. Oh, fuck! Haha, uh, <laughs> you shouldn't have left this water here. You fools. I'm still on fire, how? There we go. <laughs> RE0 was released on PC in 2016, by the way. <laughs> Got him. Got him, Norman. Oh, come on with that. He's like shooting fire while he's like in the middle of getting eaten. <laughs> I wish you could eat these guys. They do a shit ton of damage to you and then you can't heal. <laughs> I'm gonna go heal. Because I'm almost out of big territory, which means I won't be able to charge at stuff. 2010 high school for me? No, uh, 2007 is when I graduated high school. 2012 is when I graduated college. So I was in college. And my degree took five years because I had to do a year of internships during it. Which didn't count towards any class credits. <laughs> but, I got plenty of experience, which is nice. Interviewing was marginally easier as a result. <laughs> I still hate interviewing. Interviewing's never fun. Even if it goes, like, super smooth. Got him. Oh, fuck. Yes! <laughs> Brute force. But again, I'm not sure of anybody that actually likes interview. Uh, that's probably not true, but... <laughs> Definitely few and far between. Okay, I can get that. The one thing I hate more than t uh, taking an interview is giving an interview. I, that... <laughs> It shouldn't be stressful at all, but it, it is. <laughs> it's weird. Start college when you finish LOL. I have an interview Monday. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. That was your last year in college, damn. Hugs and kisses. Best of luck. ZD, in your interview on Monday. Photokinesis. Bend the light to create an invisibility cloak. Requires energy to use. Oh! Energy. That's what those are for. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Oh, that's how I get out of here. Unfortunately, I can't smash that other thing in there, because, uh, I do not have the biomass for it. Can I be cloaked? Oh, I can't be cloaked when I'm big. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I actually need to get on that grind as well. I am, thankfully, employed currently, but... <laughs> I don't know. Time for a change of scenery, as they would say. <laughs> oh, nice, a shortcut. <laughs> I 
Move to Russia with you? <laughs> sure. Why not? I actually know a lot of uh, Russian people, or well, Russian Americans. You close that door, sir. <laughs> oh shit. Cat's out of the bag now. Oh, they want me to cloak. I don't have any energy! <laughs> what else is new? XD... I'm not sure that that man's dead. Fuck! No, I'm dead! Fucking dead! Oh my god! <laughs> Barely alive. Evil Putin will... Eat me? <laughs> Probably. I think there's a lot of uh, non Russia friendly ideals that I have. <laughs> this is awesome. I don't think this will kill them though. Maybe it will. Well, right, I got a plan though. Scoop them up over here. Oh no, they're dead. Well, this guy's not dead, somehow. The other guy's dead. <laughs> You'll be drug dealer. Reminds me of a song. No! Called Oxymoronic by the band NoFX. Okay, so we're back here now. Oh, I can get through there. Nice. But I must be small. Chomp, 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 chomp. That's convenient. <laughs> Squeeze into here. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, we're pretty close to noon, and that is a good stopping point. Did that save? I wasn't paying attention. I guess I'll find the next save, and then we'll... <laughs> Seal's breached 100%. Got him. Hey, my biomass. Chomp. Maybe we'll watch a couple, uh, couple videos. Oh, I go up this way. So I can pad my stream time out. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting experiment. I think Twitch says it only sends, like, two notifications in a day, right? Like, if you stream, like, a billion million times in a day of separate streams. Be curious to know if anybody gets an alert when I the third time I go live today. If anyone feels like sharing, for anyone that has alerts on, for that matter, I <laughs> I'll be honest, I pretty much turn alerts off for like every single streamer. But that's because I follow like a million people, and my phone would just get spammed. I I hate getting alerts <laughs> for anything, like any notification. <laughs> oh, we can do this thing now because we can be invisible. Finally, someone that understands me. Oh, totally. Like, I fucking. I don't play with that. <laughs> Just come on and see who's live. Exactly. And uh, most of y'all have pretty consistent schedules, too. So, it's pretty easy to catch you when I can. Can't wait to perform 6 p.m. crew, baby. That's like perfect for me because I'm just getting off of work. Depending on whether or not, or it really depends on how many like things Possum and I watch during dinner, <laughs> is like whether I show up or not. <laughs> so Gaia streams. I just feel bad. I I don't know what times you stream at in your time zone, Norman, but like most of the time when I notice you're live, it's like super late and I'm like falling asleep 
and I'm like, well, <laughs> I, I could jump in here and then leave immediately, or, <laughs> or I'll just lurk. So the one benefit of having these guys not get eaten is I can use them as a projectile. <laughs> Got him. Program a chatbot for Norman. Oh man. So I I always hate like shouting out big streamers because it, it, like I love shouting out you know <laughs> small to medium sized streamers because then you're like. Raising awareness. If you're just name dropping like big streamers, it's like, oh, look, look at these names I know. But if you guys don't know this guy, uh, Kit Boga, he does like scam baiting. He's like a huge streamer. Uh, he's been so he's also a programmer, and he's been building like an AI to auto respond to uh, call centers that like try to scam people. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. I haven't watched his streams in a little while, so I don't know where he's at with that, but. It's actually a really cool idea, because basically that's like like what he does for his streams. He'll just like call and waste their time, try to waste as much time as he possibly can of theirs, so that those people aren't uh, scamming other people that will actually get scammed. And he has like voice modulators and stuff, and he memes around. It's pretty fun. I know he's not the only scam baiter out there, but shout out to Mr. Goon. <laughs> Working whole day, cannot start earlier. Yeah, it's uh, it's it is what it is. But try to join when I can, join when I can. Oh man, now I gotta go get small again. <laughs> Damn it. I wouldn't have had to go back here if I had actually eaten those guys correctly. Or, I wouldn't have to go back twice. Cool. See you later, ZD. Have a good one. Try and catch your stream if I can. Come over here. Although, if you're streaming tonight, Norman, I'll actually be awake after my stream, because I'm ending at midnight. So, hopefully I can catch you. Or if you're not, whatever. I'm sure I'll catch you eventually. Can't wait to do three whole raids today. Yeah, I'm actually gonna be finishing pretty soon here. I, I'm looking for a save point. I don't know why there's like zero save points now. The game knows I'm trying to end and it doesn't want me to leave. Pick that man up! Oh, you fucker! There we go. I couldn't see where my tendril was. Alright, we got him. Come here, buddy. Oh, we got this thing again. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe we'll get a power for that very soon. I feel like I shouldn't be big right now, but I had, there was no way I could have not done that. So... I guess we're fine. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep. Here's a save point. It's a pretty random stopping point, but... I think we'll end it here for now. Like I said, I'll be back at 3 p.m. Uh, we'll be playing Blood, which is an old-school first-person shooter. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna take a vote, chat vote, uh, on which VR game I play. It'll be either Layers of Fear 1 or, uh, save last checkpoint? Oh, crap. I didn't realize it wasn't saving for me. <laughs> there we go. Or Resident Evil 7. Wanna do a collab sometime in November? Totally. Yeah, November I don't have too many uh, solid plans. I'm just going to play a bunch of um, platformers and speedrun uh, Celeste, which is a platformer. 